see people who might be exercising three or four or five hours a day to make up for a binge that they did earlier. There are three major categories of eating disorders. There's anorexia nervosa, which basically is defined by um, self-induced weight loss, usually to a level of at least 85% or less of ideal body weight, but actually sometimes you can see people get as low as 50% ideal body weight, so it can be quite extreme. And the key here is self-induced. It's not a result of a medical illness. It's not from cancer. It's not from AIDS. It is an, an intentional process. Often people with that uh, diagnosis uh, have a very distorted body image, so they don't, they don't even recognize how thin that they're getting. Bulimia nervosa is a uh, second diagnosis, and that is defined really by two things. One is uh, binge eating, which is a subjective sense of loss of control over eating. It's eating a lot of food in a limited period of time, kind of defining a binge. Um, and then some compensatory behavior. That can be self-induced vomiting, it can be laxative abuse, it can be exercise. You see people who might be exercising three or four or five hours a day to make up for a binge that they did earlier. Or extreme dietary restriction, another way of trying to compensate. So bulimia, a person typically is normal weight or thereabouts. Uh, and then binge eating disorder, uh, which again is sort of like bulimia, except minus the compensatory behavior. So you have the binge, the eating a lot of food in a limited period of time, often could be repeatedly during the course of a day, but because there's no compensatory behavior, they gain weight. A significant number of people who are morbidly obese are binge eaters uh, because they just eat and eat and they put the weight on.